Alternating air mattresses are used for the prevention and management of pressure injuries and work on the principle of pressure on, pressure off. When air cells inflate, pressure is applied to the body's surface, creating a brief restriction of blood flow. When cells deflate, blood flow increases again, causing a rush of blood, and therefore oxygen, to the area. This is known as reactive hyperemia and is the body's normal reaction when we change position. Alternating air mattresses, such as the Active Air 8, utilize this principle of reactive hyperemia for the prevention and management of pressure injuries. In this video, we look at how to get the most out of your Active Air 8 and consider how to unpack your Active Air 8, how to set up your Active Air 8, how to conduct a bottom-out test, the mattress's key features and other tips for maximum effectiveness. Place your Active Air 8 on the bed's platform as shown here, with the labels facing up. Use the straps to secure the mattress to the bed's platform. Always ensure that the straps are secured to moving parts of the bed to prevent damage. Then, check that the CPR valve is closed. If it is not, your mattress will not inflate. Hang the pump on the foot end of the bed and remove the plastic protector cap from the air hose. Connect the air hose to the pump. You will feel a click. Some mattresses, like the Active Air 8, have an additional sensor cable. Also connect this to the pump. Then connect the mains power cable as seen here. Click the red power cord protector into place. Plug the mains power cable in, turn the power switch on, and press the on button on the control panel. Once plugged in and turned on, the power LED light will illuminate and inflation will begin. Inflation on most alternating air mattresses takes between 30 and 40 minutes. However, a rapid inflation turbo pump is available with the Active Air 8, allowing you to quickly inflate the mattress via the CPR valve, therefore minimizing wait time. When the mattress is fully inflated, you can then select the most appropriate settings, either automatically or manually. When activated, the Auto Adjust feature will automatically set pressure output based on user weight. Simply lie the user on the fully inflated mattress. Then press and hold both the soft and firm buttons at the same time. The LED light will start flashing, indicating that the mattress sensors are working to detect user body weight. After approximately 10 minutes, the LED light will stop flashing and the most appropriate settings for the user will be automatically set. The Active Air 8 can also be manually set by simply adjusting the pressure according to the user's weight. Your user manual can help guide you in this. Even with the recommended settings, it's good practice to carry out a bottoming out test to ensure optimal setup for the user. With the user lying on their back, unzip the cover at the buttock area to expose the mattress cells. Find a cell that is deflated and slide your hand underneath the user, pushing down on the deflated cell. A low friction glove can help with this. Your hand should easily slide between the user and the mattress surface, allowing approximately 5 cm of clearance or wrist height. If your hand drags or is difficult to insert, increase mattress pressure to prevent bottoming out. Do this and wait 10 minutes before retesting. If there is more than 5 cm or greater than wrist height, pressure should be reduced. Do this and wait 10 minutes before retesting. 
When you are satisfied that the user isn't bottoming out in a flat position, also test with the head of the bed raised to a 45 degree angle. Rezip the cover when testing is complete. To get the most from your Active Air 8, it is important to understand its key features and functions. There are four different modes. Alternating mode means that cells move up and down in a one in two pattern. This allows reactive hyperemia. This mode is vital to prevent and manage pressure injury and should always be used for those at high risk. Alternating mode always defaults to a 10 minute cycle on initial setup. This is recommended for optimal protection and management. However, if clinical needs indicate, cycle time can be adjusted by pressing the cycle button. Static mode stops cell alternation and brings all cells to an even level of inflation. This may be useful, for example, at mealtimes when the user wants a static surface. For protection, this automatically returns to alternating mode after 20 minutes. Auto firm also brings cells to static, but does so to maximum inflation. This mode is good for helping the user to get in and out of the bed and for lateral transfers. CLP or continuous low pressure also stops cell alternation and retains 50% of the selected pressure that has been set for the user. This makes the mattress a highly immersive surface, but should only be used if clinically indicated, as it does not provide the active therapy that the alternating mode does. The Active Air 8 has a safety feature known as Auto Protect. This means that when the head of the bed is elevated past 45 degrees, pressure automatically increases from the pump, helping to prevent bottoming out in a more upright position. Auto Lock means that after 30 seconds of inactivity, the control panel automatically locks and cannot be tampered with or accidentally changed. To unlock the control panel, simply press and hold the lockout button until the LED light turns off. Not only does the Active Air 8 have a patented protector feature to prevent accidental dislodgement, the cord itself can be retained on either side of the mattress for maximum safety, reduced tripping risk and convenience. The CPR valve is located at the head of the mattress in an easy to access location. When it is opened, it allows rapid deflation of the mattress to enable more effective chest compressions when resuscitation is required. Along with the alternating cells, the cover helps to reduce pressure injury risk. It is breathable to optimize skin microclimate, multi-stretch to reduce friction and shear, and seams are welded to prevent fluid ingress and infection control issues. Urgently addressing errors detected in your alternating air mattress is vital to protect the user. If an error occurs, the LED screen will illuminate with an error code. Follow the troubleshooting guide on the pump and match the error code to the problem. You may be able to easily solve this. If not, contact your Aspire dealer. For an alternating air mattress to work effectively, you should carefully consider what goes on or over the mattress. Never place sheepskin products, foam toppers, electric blankets or tightly fitted sheets on an alternating air mattress. A loosely tucked sheet is appropriate and still allows the mattress to work effectively. And finally, even with an alternating air mattress in place, it is still important to regularly reposition the user to ensure maximum protection. Do this in accordance with the individual's risk assessment. For those at risk of pressure injury, selecting the right support surface is essential to ensure prevention and promote optimal management.